Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Peter here. Today we're going to do a bit of a challenge. I'm in my backyard and I'm going to try and take as many pictures of different uh, specimens that I've stumbled upon in an hour. I've got the new setup, by the way. I'm using uh, this time my Canon 1DX Mark II along with the 100mm Canon um, lens. I've got the usual reflector and diffuser kit from uh, Crafty Bells and the 600EX RT2 flash, which is just playing up right now, as you can hear. And then I'm gonna switch it off just momentarily. I've got everything set up to 1.1 magnification. You can see that the autofocus is disabled. I have the stabilizer on. It doesn't really help in this instance. We've got one hour to complete the challenge. I'm gonna try and take as many pictures as possible. We're gonna start the timer right now. Off we go. All right, so. Come on, come on. This fig tree is usually teeming with all sorts of insects. Plenty of flies on the ground, on the rotting leaves. Okay, I found a very small fly on this leaf. Sharp. Not too bad, that's actually good. Okay, so I get one. Keep my head on this branch, fucking hell. Oh. There's another fly species here with different coloration and different pattern on its back. Oh. Can't approach it, they're too timid. Oh, there's a spider here. What does it look like? can't see the eye, unfortunately. I'm gonna up the uh, flash to about 75% and ISO to 640. See if I can get a better shot. I give up. It's just not cooperative enough. Anyway, we've got two species so far. So many flies here. Yes, I got one shot. Super tiny. Looks cool though. Yeah, it looks like a wasp of some sort. I completely forgot to talk about the DCI 250, the snap on um, magnification thing or lens, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be attached to the front element. Gives you an extra 40% magnification or so, approximately 1.4, 1.5x. On the uh, on this full frame sensor, so and uh, the sharpness doesn't really suffer too much. It still gives decent results, as you will see later. What have we got here? Look at this mess! Holy shit! There's a passion vine, uh, passion leaf uh, vine hopper, I think here. Just right there. Let's try and capture it. Just stay in one place. This spider there too. That's funny. Okay. Got the spider at least. What's missing is a couple of uh, jumping spiders. 37 minutes left. Maybe we're gonna be lucky. We'll be able to capture some. Oh. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Hello, buddy. There's a super tiny one here, right here. Extremely small. Most likely a holoplatus uh, specimen or species. Very small. So we got a couple of shots. Exposure is not perfect. I should, should have used probably. 800 to 1000 where I saw, but we got something. On this brick wall, I tend to find so many little jumping spiders. I found two different uh, species yesterday. 
Let's see if we get lucky this time again. Plenty of ants, they're carrying their brood to their nest. We gotta get moving, because I can't see anything here. I found a, I'm not sure if you can see, a very small moth. Approaching it is gonna be quite difficult. Look at this thistle. Maybe I should do a bit of gardening. Fuck it, I don't care. 26 minutes left. And here, nothing. Let's check what we've got here. There's one spider here. Wow, that looks so cool. I have seen a similar species before on that side of the fence, but it was much larger about a couple of years ago. This is what I love. You just come out and you don't know what to expect. You're always going to stumble upon something that you have not seen before or you are not expecting. I'm trying to spot any movement on these plants and leaves. Let's try. I'm lucky it this time. 18 minutes left until the challenge is completed. SFA, SFA. I got an ant on this leaf. He's gonna try and capture it. What's going on here? Oh, bird shit, hooray. I'm not gonna capture that shit. 10 minutes left. It's a fruit fly here. It must be the exoskeleton of something. Three minutes left. I'm running out of ideas. Two minutes left. Let's go to the brick wall one more time. One minute, 32 seconds left. In case we can find something. Oh, here is our little friend, by the way, again. Little jumping spider. Nothing here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. There is one here. Quick. Oh, gotta be quick. ISO 500. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Take one picture. Oh my god. Can't see shit. Oh, it went into the hole. 20 seconds left. Come on, don't tell me. We got one shot, that's nice. So we got one shot, one shot. Just right in the nick of time, I can't believe it. Check, the 54th shot. So I was within the one hour mark. I can't believe this, this is amazing. This is ridiculous. I mean, what are the odds? Finished with the challenge. I'm so glad that I did it. We spent exactly one hour shooting outside and I captured about a dozen species. And how good was that last uh, jumping spider? Composition was pretty good as well. Just crawled into a little hole, a little cave. I wanted to create this video because I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to just go out and even if you think that you won't be able to get anything, you will. Because if you are 
persistent enough and just perceptive enough, you're gonna find some awesome subjects right in your backyard. Just go to the nearest park if you don't have a garden and you will find so many interesting uh, subjects, I can guarantee you. So thanks again guys for watching and see you in my next video. Peace.